Okay, so what we're doing here is we're putting together Pythagorean's theorem and Sokotoa to try and fill in the six different trig ratios for this triangle that we've been given some of the sides for, but not all of the sides. And the reason I say we have to use Pythagorean theorem is if you think about what Sokotoa says, right, this is where we get our six trig functions. So Sokotoa, right, it means sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And, and so on. Toa is uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Well, for two of these, we need to know the hypotenuse, right? You can't figure out sine and cosine without knowing the hypotenuse, and that's missing in this triangle. So I would say the first order of business when you have a triangle is to figure out all the sides of it. So I'm going to say uh, h squared equals um, 2 squared plus 5 squared, right? That's p the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, and 2 squared plus 5 squared is 29, so that means instead of h, we can write here the square root of 29. Okay, now we have three sides on the triangle. We are good to go with finding the rest of these trig functions. And we'll start with sine, cosine, and tangent. I think those are the, the easy ones. Now sine of angle A is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is the side furthest away. That means this is 5 divided by the square root of 29. And I know it's not exactly proper to have the square root at the bottom of a fraction, right? If you remember from the radicals unit, we would oftentimes take this and rewrite it as 5 squared 29 divided by 29. And that's true. However, right now I don't want to get people stuck on rationalization. What's important to me is that you know the proper way to construct trig ratios, not whether or not you know how to simplify fractions. So I'll be accepting either answer. Okay, those are both perfectly fine. Uh, whichever way you like writing your, your fractions is fine. So there we have the sine of A, and let's talk about cosine of A, right? That's just gonna be the adjacent. This guy right here is adjacent. Adjacent means next to. So if you think about it that way, uh, it becomes clear this one is two divided by the square root of 29. And tangent might be the easiest one of all. That's just opposite over adjacent. So what's the opposite? What's the adjacent? Well, that just means this is 5 divided by 2. Now, when you move on to the reciprocal trig functions, I would just take the original trig functions and flip them over. And that's it. Cotangent, if you remember, is 1 over tangent. So you flip the fraction upside down. Secant, it's not 1 over sine, it's 1 over cosine. So we're going to find cosine, here we are, and point that guy over to secant, and just flip that fraction upside down. Square root of 29 divided by 2. And likewise with sine, that goes to cosecant, and it becomes square root of 29 over 5, and you're done.